talking about the difference between a tantrum and a meltdown. There are a lot of differences, I assume, but for me, visually, there isn't a lot. A tantrum can be exactly this. A tantrum and a meltdown can look so similar depending on the kind of child. For example, some kids, when you say no to them, will run away. Sometimes, if you say no to a child, they'll fight you. And the same with an autistic child. If you say, if they have a meltdown, they may start fighting you, or they may run away. The only way you can decide whether it's a tantrum or a meltdown is, of course, by asking why is the child behaving like this. Of course, violence and some things are completely unacceptable regardless, See, but you must always ask why. Because people do things for a reason. They don't just do them. They might do, but in my experience, there's always a reason why. Always a reason. You must always ask why, and then you may get to an actual root cause, and it may never happen again. Instead of just taking things and being, no, 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 no. That's what I believe in. Got this today for to make the videos look nicer. It's a Logitech C920. Uh, I got it today from a shop that sells them. This is the best webcam you can get. It's awesome source. It does 1080p at 60 frames a second, which is for those who don't know, that's really good. For those who do know, they'll be like, whoa. This cost me 90 pounds. So you gotta be willing to fork out if you want this. Here we go, let's open the box. It's got this lovely plastic stuff. What do we get inside? Let's have a gander. Okay, so I get instructions, that's really good. And I get this beautiful piece of equipment. And it fits on a tripod. That is amazing. And it is my probably the best piece of equipment I've ever bought. I actually feel like I'm doing really well. That is truly scrumptious. And then of course, the bottom there you can put it on a tripod. Absolutely. Amaze balls. I don't know whether anybody else gets this, but I was walking home and it was like really pitch black and there's no like street lights and it's right by it, like a country road, like a country lane, but there's a really, there's like a path that you can go on that's quite safe. And then like, obviously cars were coming towards me with their lights on, which is like, whoa. And then I couldn't see ahead of me. Sort of, sort of and I get this quite a lot and I wonder if it's an autistic thing or just a thing that most people do in general or you know but because I couldn't see straight ahead straight on my vestibular sense wasn't working right which meant that it was I, I kept walking like wonky so I'd walk and then kind of go off at an angle or go and then go back to straight and it was really weird and really confusing and it was and then every now and then the lights would come and I'd be like oh and it just throw me off again and it was just so weird. I, I, it might have been something that I've done before. But because I find that I do this Facebook stuff, I seem to see more of my traits as I do because I think more about it. Well, anyway, let me know if this anything if you get the same thing because it was really weird. But awesome. No, it wasn't awesome. It was a little bit annoying. But it was, you know, it was all right. Yeah. Anyway, comment below. Let us know if you get this. Bye. <laughs> Oh, uh -huh.